Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is your Cloud Pilot Udesh and in today's video, we are going to discuss another important case study for Google Cloud Professional Cloud Architect Certification, the Helicopter Racing League case study. So in this case study, I'm going to tell about the approach which I have taken and I'll also help you to map the appropriate resource according to the requirements. So let's have a look at the company overview. So Helicopter Racing League HRL is a global sports league for competitive helicopter racing and each year HRL holds the world championship and several regional league competitions where the teams compete each other to earn a spot in the world championship. And it offers a paid service to stream the races all over the world with live telemetry and predictions throughout each race. So now when you look into the solution concept, they want to migrate their existing service to a new platform to expand their use of managed AI and ML services to facilitate race predictions. And additionally, as new fans engage with the sport, particularly in emerging regions, they want to move the serving of their content, both real time and recorded closer to the users. So some of the highlighted phrases are migrate their existing service to a new platform, expand their use of managed AI and ML services to facilitate race predictions, and move the serving of the content both real time and recorded closer to their users. So these things should be in your mind while coming up with the architecture. So now let's look into the existing technical environment. So HRL is a public cloud first company. The core of their mission critical applications run on their current public cloud provider. Video recording and editing is performed at the racetracks and the content is encoded and transported where needed in the cloud. The enterprise grade connectivity and local compute is provided by truck mounted mobile data centers. The race prediction servers are hosted exclusively on existing public cloud provider. Existing content is stored in an object service, storage service on their existing public cloud provider. Video encoding and transcoding is performed on VMs created for each job. Race predictions are performed using TensorFlow running on VMs in the current public cloud provider. So uh, there are a few things which need to be highlighted here again. So these are core of their mission critical applications run on their current public cloud provider. Enterprise grade connectivity and local compute is provided by truck mounted mobile data centers. Existing content is stored in an object storage service and video encoding and transcoding is performed on VMs. Race predictions are performed using TensorFlow running on VMs. So this is their existing technical environment. Now let's look into the business requirements. We need to satisfy all the business requirements available. So these are expand their predictive capability, reduce latency for the viewers, support ability to expose predictive models to partners, increase predictive capabilities during and before races. So race results, mechanical failures, crowd sentiment can be taken. Increase telemetry and create additional insights, measure fan engagement with new prediction, enhance global availability and quality of the broadcast, increase the number of concurrent viewers, minimize operational complexity, ensure compliance with the regulation and create a merchandising revenue stream. So these are the business requirements which need to be satisfied when you come across or when you develop a solution architecture. So solving these will make you the right path. So technical requirements maintain or increase prediction throughput and accuracy, reduce viewer latency, increase transporting performance, create real time analytics of viewer consumption patterns and engagement, create a data mart to enable processing of large volume of race data. So this is going to be a pretty big one and the executive statement says that their CEO wants to bring high adrenaline racing to fans all around the world and they listen to their fans and they want enhanced video streams that include predictions of events within the race example overtaking and their current platform allows them to predict race outcomes but lacks the facility to support real-time predictions during races and the capacity to process season long results. So again, here are some phrases which should be highlighted. They want to predict race outcomes, but lacks the facility to support real time prediction during races and the capability to process season long results. So these two things are mainly focused by the team. So I have found out a solution architecture. I have developed an architecture 
which I am uh, explaining using two approaches. I have uh, an architecture and I have several components which would be a good fit for the case. So one is serving content, we can use cloud storage and cloud CDN so that we can distribute the content across the region using cloud CDN and we can store the content on cloud storage. And for real time prediction and analysis, we can use cloud PubSub, which is a stream data streaming uh, service. And you can use cloud data flow, which is a managed uh, data service by Google cloud. And then we can use BigQuery for analytics. And if you need to do the visualization part, you can use data studio and Looker so that you can do the analysis. And you can also do BigQuery machine learning for real time prediction. And for data mart for processing large volume of data, you can store the data on cloud storage and you can transfer the data towards BigQuery through cloud data flow. And you can also keep uh, BigQuery as a data house, uh, data warehouse, and you can store the data even there. And uh, for the video analysis, you can use video intelligence API. And for increase in the transcoding performance, you can use transcoder API. And to expose prediction models to partners, you can use Vertex AI endpoints. And for operations, you can use cloud, learning, uh, cloud logging, monitoring, et cetera, which is provided by Stackdriver. So an architecture which I came across was another uh, through another approach. We can take the data through RTMP. We can pull the data towards Cloud PubSub. And from there, we can give the data towards the compute engine for the RTMP process and then use the transcoder API to transcode it and store it on cloud storage. And through uh, from cloud storage, through cloud CDN, we can distribute the content across the world and any people, anyone, any users you are accessing the content will be able to access it at the faster rate. And uh, we will also transfer the data to cloud data flow upon which it will go to BigQuery, which can be viewed by partners for their analytics. And uh, as mentioned, TensorFlow is already used. So it, uh, using TensorFlow uh, will be uh, very more, uh, very much convenient for them to use it. And which can, uh, these TensorFlow models can be deployed on cloud AI platform upon which uh, you can host it uh, even on an application hosted on Kubernetes engine so that even the people who uh, users who want to see the predictions can actually view it through that application there. So this is the architecture I have come across with and uh, please do let me know your feedbacks in the comments below. If you have any similar approaches or if you have any different approach, please do let me know and I'm open to all suggestions and I hope you have understood this, prepare well, all the best. Uh, thank you so much for watching and it's your Cloud Pilot signing off. Bye.